Aside from your products, one of the most crucial aspects of your store is your shipping configuration. We're going to take a look now at how to set up our store's shipping methods. We do this under Configuration over at Shipping and Pickup. We have options for Shipping and Delivery, which is what we're going to look at in just a minute, as well as In-Store Pickup. If we scroll down first, however, we see a couple other settings that we can configure. The first is Shipping Origin. We need to set this up to tell primarily the carriers where we are located. We'll see why that's important in just a minute. And then we also have the option to add a handling fee. As this text over here explains, the handling fee is a flat per order charge that you can customize to cover expenses, including packaging and preparing an order. So any man hours or extra materials that that requires, you can set a fee for those here. So for shipping origin, let's go ahead and set up our shipping origin address. Here's gonna ask whether you're doing this from your company's own address or from some other location. And then of course you'll put your address in here. Once you've done that, click Submit. And then if we want to add a handling fee, we'll click Set Up Handling Fee. We'll give it a title and the fee amount. And then here we're going to explain the, to the customers what this fee covers specifically. So they don't just see a random dollar or $3 charge or whatever it is and not know why we're adding that charge to the order. For my store, I'm not gonna worry about adding a handling fee. So I'm gonna click Cancel. And now that we've configured this, let's go back up to the top to shipping and delivery and add a shipping method. To start off with, we're gonna take a look at the easiest and most convenient way to calculate shipping for whatever carriers you use. And unless you have a specific reason not to do things this way, this is really the recommended method. Let's say we're using UPS. We'll click set up UPS. And we have this option to simply allow UPS to calculate the rates for us. Automatic calculated rates from UPS. If that's the option we want, and we'll say that in this case it is, we'll click set up UPS. And that's all it takes. Now, when customers check out from our store, they'll have the option to have their order shipped via UPS. And when they choose that option, UPS is going to automatically calculate the shipping cost. And then our store is going to add that cost to the customer's total. We can disable any of these at any time by clicking this button over here. And in this actions box, we can do a few things. We can delete this outright. We can sort it with other shipping methods and we can edit it. Let's take a look at the edit screen. What this allows us to do is first off, give this a shipping name. And in many cases, you'll want to just keep the default. But if you feel like you need to provide more information, you can do so here. And then down here, you can choose the shipping methods that are available. So if for whatever reason, you don't want to allow say UPS ground, then you can simply disable that. But we'll leave all of these enabled. And then if we scroll down a bit more, we can specify the region that this shipping method is available for. So the world is the shipping region by default, which means of course, anybody anywhere can use this shipping method. But we can also choose one of our regions and make it only available to customers in the United States or customers in Europe or whatever it may be. We can also create new regions. And remember that over here in zones, we can add more regions to our list. We can also add a shipping markup for customers who choose this method. So for whatever reason, if this causes us to incur more costs on our end, we can add that markup here. This is a flat fee and this is per order as well, similar to what we saw earlier. And then we can set a default package size if we'd like. And if we have an account with UPS, we can put in our account information there to tie it to our store. If you do make any changes on this page, make sure you save and go back. And that's all we're gonna do for carrier calculated shipping. But just know that if we go back to add shipping method, that this carrier calculated shipping option is available for USPS and FedEx as well. So it's not just UPS that we can do that for, but any of these. Again, this is the easiest option because we don't have to do any configuration on our own and the carrier is going to calculate the proper amount for us. So if at all possible, this is the recommended method to use.